today we are going to look at how to change recurring noise models to fractions. In a previous session we talked about terminating and recurring noise models. You can check my video on rational and irrational numbers. Uh, we said <coughs> terminating these models of uh, this form, they have an end, for example 0 0.8, 0 0.25 and all these are terminating these models. It does not repeat. And then recurring these models of uh, this form, 0 0.5 with a 5 recurring. All these are examples of recurring these models. We are going to look at how to change such recurring these models to what? Fractions. We are very familiar with how to change uh, terminating these models to um, fractions. For example, if you have 0 0.8, we said 0 0.8 is equal to 8 over 10, which can be reduced to what? 4 over 5. The idea is that you are going to move the decimal to the right side up to the end of the number. So the number of times you move the decimal to the end of the number, the number of zeros you add here. In this case, you move just one, so you add only one zero over here. When you come here to 0 0.25, the number of times you are going to move the point is what? Two times. So we put two zeros over here. And then the number of times we move over here, in this case, 5.6999, you're going to move three times. So we put three zeros over here. All right. But what about if you have a number like, or a recurring decimal like 0 0.5 recurring? They are the same as 0 0.5555. The 5 keep repeating. It doesn't end. And so with the idea used over here, is it possible and how many times are you going to move this point before you get to the end of the number? In fact, the number does not even have an end. And so it's not possible. It's never possible. So we are going to look at the method that we can use to change such recurring decimals to fractions. It's very simple. All right, so we are asked to express the following in a form A over B, where B is not equal to zero, and A and B have no common factors. What it means is that they are just asking us to change this recurring decimal to what? Fractions. All right, so let's see how we go about it. 0 0.2 recurring. We say let x be equal to 0 0.2. I'm using x. You can use any variable. At all you can use k you can use m you can use any variable and so we are going to write x to be equal to 0 0.2222 recurring name this one equation what one then you multiply equation one by what 10 you want to multiply equation one by 10 you just multiply the left hand side by 10 and then the right hand side two by 10 so if you multiply the left hand side by 10 you are getting what 10x is equal to you multiply the right hand side by 10. Anytime you multiply a decimal by 10, the decimal point moves one step forward. It moves forward one step forward. And so the, the number is going to be two point. The decimal move one step forward. Two, 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 and then add another two because we want to keep the same number of digits after the decimal point. The number keeps repeating. And so we name this one what? Equation two. We want to keep the same number of digits after the decimal point, so you, that's why we add 2. Alright, so now we have two equations. If you're able to get two equations like this, the only thing you have to do is what? Check the right side of the three equations. Or check the right side of the equations. Check the repeating pattern of the decimals. In this case, we have 2, 2, 2, 2. Over here, you have 2, 2, 2, 2. What it means is that you can work with those two equations. So you are going to see equation 2 minus equation what? 1. It means you are going to subtract equation 1 from what? Equation 2. So you are having 10x minus x. Subtract this from that. It's equal to 2.2222 recurring minus this one. 0 0.2222 recurring. Alright. So let's simplify and see. Then you simplify. 10x minus x will give me what? 9x is equal to, when you come here to, you realize that the decimal will take care of the decimal and you have 2 minus 0. It gives me what? 2. But we are looking for x. So what will you do? You divide both sides by the coefficient of x. And then this one takes care of this. 
and you are left with x is equal to what 2 over 9 2 over 9 all right then you answer the question therefore 0 0.2 recurring is equal to 2 over what 9 that's all very simple as such so let's look at the second one we have 0 0.18 recurring so same approach we let in this case let me use um, let me use what value let me use k so let k be equal to 0 0.18 that's the set recurring decimal good then you write your first equation k is equal to 0 0.18 the repeating pattern is one it so expand it a little the number keeps repeating and then name this one what equation one then this time around we are not going to multiply equation one by 10 we are going to multiply equation one by what 100 because the repeating pattern of the number is, is in what two digits in the first case the repeating pattern of the number was in what only one digit two 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 it's two that is repeating that's why I multiply by 10 but in this case the repeating pattern is what in two digits so you multiply by what 100 good multiply by 100 all right so k by 100 will give me what 100 k is equal to when you multiply the right hand side by 100 because you are multiplying by 100 the point is going to move two times forward so you have 18.18 and then add 18 so that you have the same number of digits after the point good don't be confused as to where the second one it is coming from because the number does not end it keeps repeating so you can add as many as you can but you want to keep only four digits so you add two so that it becomes four and name this one what equation two now you see that you check the right hand side of the equation and check the repeating pattern the repeating pattern is the same one eight one eight one eight one eight so you can see equation two minus equation one and then you write Equation 2 minus equation 1. So you are going to have 100k minus what? K. Which is equal to, when you come here to 181818 minus this one. 0 0.1818. Recurring. Good. Oh, well, then you simplify. 100k minus k is giving me 99k, which is equal to. When you come here you realize that the decimals will take care of the decimals and then you have 18 minus 0 which is giving you what 18 you are looking for k so what will you do you divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of k over 99 this will take care of this and then this one you can reduce it 9 will go here 2 and then 9 will go here 11 so you have 2 over what 11 2 over 11 so k is equal to what 2 over 11 then you answer the question therefore 0 0.18 recurring is equal to what 2 out of 11 very simple as such so you write your first equation check the repeating pattern the number of digits in which it's in in this case it's in two digits so you multiply by what 100 if it is in one digit you multiply by 10 if it's in three digits you multiply by what 1000 but in this case you have it in only two digits so you multiply by 100 then you get this second equation and you check the right hand side of the equality sign you realize that you're having the same repeating pattern so you can work with them you subtract this from that that's what we did over here then you simplify and then you are getting that then you answer your question so that's a fraction form of what 0 0.18 recurring 0 0.1 is recurring in fraction is 2 over what 11 you can check this with your calculator punch 2 over 11 on your calculator and you realize the value 0 0.1 is repeating good so we'll pause the video and then try the third one all right i believe you've gotten it so you should have something like this 
you will let m be equal to the recurring decimal you write your first equation you check the repeating pattern it's in two digits so you multiply the equation by what 100 two zeros two digits two zeros two digits all right then you get the second equation you check the right side right hand side of the equation sign the repeating pattern with the decimal is the same two four two four two four two four so you subtract equation um, one from what equation two then you get this then then you simplify that 100 m minus m will give you 99 m and then this place to the decimal will take care of the decimal and you're left with 524 minus 5 which will give me 519 we are looking for m so you divide both sides of the equation by what the coefficient of m which is 99 then this one can simplify to get what 173 over 33 then you answer the question the decimal 5.24 recurring is equal to what 173 over 33 all right let's look at the the last one there was something I need to talk about over here the last one you realize that the value is 0 0.063 with a 63 recurring there is a zero in front of the 63 it's not part of the digits that are recurring so let's look at how we go about that You have 0 0.063 as a decimal which you change to fraction. So as we did at first or as we have been doing, you let k or any uh, variable be equal to the, the, the decimal. And you can rewrite it in this form. And let that one be the first equation. In this case, 0 0.063 is 63. It's only 63 that is repeating. So we write it in this form. Good. So you realize that there is a digit in front of the decimals that are repeating. There is a zero in front of it. You can see the number of digits that are recurring are three. No, it's not two. It's only two. But there's one in front of it first. So you have to manipulate that equation so that the point will move ahead and then the recurring decimals or the pattern for the recurring decimal becomes the same. So we have to multiply the equation by 10 so that the point will move ahead first. So if you multiply equation 1 by 10, then you are getting something like this. The point will move one step ahead. Then you have... 0 0.63636 you add one six so that you have the same number of digits you have one two three four five so one two three four so you add six so that it becomes uh, the same number of digits you realize that the repeating pattern is two digits so now you multiply by what 100 so first you have to multiply by 10 so that the point will move one step ahead and then the repeating pattern becomes in two digits then you multiply by what 100 Good. If you multiply 10 k by 100, you are getting 1000 k. And if you multiply this decimal by 100, the point will move two steps forward. So you have 63.63636. Always you have to make sure that the repeating or the number of digits after the decimal are the same. So you have 5 here, you should have 5 here. Alright. So now you have three equations equation 1, 2, and 3. You compare them in twos, but you did for the first two, so you realize that, or you should know that the first two won't work. So you can compare equation three, equation two, and what equation three. No one should even tell you. As soon as you get a third equation, you realize that the repeating pattern are the same. All right. So you work with those two equations. Now you say equation three minus what equation two. So it means you are going to subtract this from this and that from that. That's what you did over here, and then you simplify to get 990k over 990 is equal to over here to the decimal will take out the decimal and you have 63 minus what zero and that's what it simplifies to give you so that's the answer